Good day, everyone. Welcome to my channel, BST African Electronic Surgery. And what do we have? We have this uh, Isuzu key fob, which came in for repair. What the customer is saying, this is coming from our regular customer, and the customer is saying, uh, the key fob is no longer locking or unlocking car doors. This happens after the customer mistakenly drop the, the key fob down, and from that moment, it stopped working. So how this is working, how this key fob is working, yeah, that's the key fob, it's a very small thing. So we have these two buttons, when I press these buttons, there's a sensor here, what this sensor is doing, is communicating with the sensors on the doors, uh, to lock or unlock the doors. And those sensors on the doors, everything is computerized there. It's communicating with the ECU chip from the computer box and sending the signal to the doors to unlock or lock the doors. So when you press, there must be light to see that this sensor is working. I'm pressing here. The right, the right switch, the left switch, nothing is happening. So let's try to get inside and si find out how best we can fix this. What do I need? I need something flat. Oh, just a symbol. So this is the inside. We don't have too many things. We have this. 12 volts battery. We have this 12 volts battery. We have the chip. We have these switches. And some few components. So, what you can check? First, obvious, we are checking the battery voltage. Because in order to have the light here, the battery must have power. So what do you have on the battery? Plus and minus 12 volts. You can see 12.5 on the screen. So we don't have problem with the battery. Okay. I think we need to go under microscope. One second. So let's see under microscope. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see under microscope what's going on here. That's the key fob. So what do you have here? We have the battery. This is the battery. Plus and minus. After the battery. We have this resistor, and this looks like it's a small transistor, ceramic capacitors, that's the crystal. We have this chip, looks like it's a MOSFET, but it is a chip, which is controlling these two. You see here. We have this switch and this switch. And what I believe, the top, the top metal thing from the switch, I think from the moment when the customer drop up the key fob, the metal thing get lost. And uh, on the switch, we must have voltage. So what I would do, I'll check straight on the switch button. And we do have 12 volts. Okay. So if I'm to short these pins, check the light flashing. Maybe you can't see. Maybe you can't see. Check. Pay attention to the light. I release 
the light goes off, I press. You see that light? I release the light goes off, I press, the light comes on. On the other side, same thing. So how we can fix something like this? Let's check out the battery. Let's check out the battery. Let's check out the board. So, how we are going to fix something like that? How are we going to fix something like that? This looks like a very hard job. Because you have to replace this switch. And the problem, I don't have this kind of switches. That is another big problem. But you must find a way to fix this. You must find a way to fix this. There must be a way to fix this. So, what you are going to do Let's try to do some tricks here. On all these switches. The first thing is to take down the switch. Because those switches, they are faulty. Actually, they are not faulty, but the top metal thing Get lo the customer lost the top metal thing, which is sending the 12 volts to ground. You remember how the switch are, switches are working? So the switch is out. Now we need to come with our own switch. We need to come with our own switch here. Let me look for switches and then we'll see how we can modify this. Now, let's do some little tricks here. I found something. I found something. Let's, let's take down all the switches. We don't need them anymore. We don't need all these switches anymore. Well, this is just a switch. I don't want to come with water on this board. I'm not going to use water here. What the chances of melting many components is so high. Now, soldering wire. So that in wire here, 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 here. What did I found? I found something else. Which I believe must work on our situation here. So let's try to modify and put our own switch here. Just like that. 
and uh, now the second one must be here how we can put this now we are dealing with very small things here Now let's solder the second switch. Okay, now let's see if our switches they are working. Let's see. This one good. So that's what we have done here. So we have to see, we have to see if this thing is, is working. We have to see. We have to see if this thing is working. So I'll plug the battery. Let's see now. The battery is plugged. That's the battery. Let's see what happened to the what happened to the to the sensor if I press on the power button? I'll start with the right switch. Check here. You see? It's working. The other side. The other side is working. You see this? It's now flashing. So I believe we are done. So let's see now. Let's see now. Let's see what we have done now. So what we did, we replaced those switches. These are this is an key fob for Isuzu. We don't know the model of the car. We replaced with these switches, which I took from the the boards or from, from from the the donor boards for 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 laptop motherboards these switches and uh, a switch is just a switch and uh, the how the what these switches they are doing they are sending 12 volts to ground they are sending 12 volts to ground we, we can check that we can check that straight on the switch. Check on the screen, 12.4 12, 12 volts. If I'm to check on the other side, same voltage, 12.4 volts. 
So while these switches they are doing, they are sending the twelve volts to ground. If I press this switch, check the light. You see the flashing light. So it's now working. If we check on the other side, same thing. So basically, that's how you treat the situation. You have to improvise. So even if I put the top lid pressing, you see the light pressing on the other side. So I'll stop this video now. Hopefully you learn how you treat the situation. We don't have those kind of switches, but uh, what we have, what I've done now, I've just saved the customer from buying another key for for Isus. Probably this is above hundred US dollar. If you are to buy another one, but uh, how much the cost of this repair? Like twenty dollars to fix this and it's working fine so like subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification bell and see you on the next game bye